Good afternoon, students, faculty, administration, trustees, guests, and a special good afternoon to President Laurie Bettison Varga. It is my honor to bring greetings from higher education on this historic day for Scripps College. But why me out of 4,000 institutions in the United States? The College of St. Benedict is a women's liberal arts college in Minnesota, and I'm not sure that Californians have any interest in Minnesota at all. And unlike Lori, I don't have an outdoor garden office adjacent to my indoor one. I think Lori chose me to bring these greetings because I understand her as a leader and because we are similar in many ways, but more importantly, because I understand the mission of Scripps College. When Lori and I were both professors, we drove crazy our deans, provosts, and presidents because we wanted to try to run our institutions, even when we were only professors. We are a rare breed of president because we both moved within less than three years from the classroom to the presidency, skipping or shortening, in Lori's case, many of the traditional steps. But Lori and I share some, another important characteristic. Our presidencies for us are like coming home. Our careers were spent entirely at coeducational institutions, yet for what will be the crowning achievement of our careers, we both came home to women's colleges, women's colleges whose mission have remained, missions have remained steadfast and whose futures remain clear. In the 21st century, we have committed our lives to what Women's College Coalition calls the unfinished agenda and what Ellen Browning Scripps called the mission to provide an exceptional education for talented women that would equip them intellectually and morally for satisfying professional and personal lives. But our colleges are similar in two other respects. They were both founded in the early 20th century to be exactly what they are today, unlike many good women's colleges who were founded as normal schools or women's seminaries. Scripps College and my own college were founded as colleges that educate women to be professionals and to grow personally, and colleges that nurtured the diversity of women's talents and potential, setting no boundaries. And our missions work equally well now as they did in the early 20th century. But our colleges are like each other in another unique way. By design, they are both freestanding women's colleges in the context of a coeducational consortium. This institutional asset of collaboration is bred in the bone of Scripps College. It has served the college and its students and faculty well throughout its first century, but I believe that this model may be the essential model for the 21st century. We live in a time when choices for women have become more, not less complicated, and where we are seeing a rapid shift in societal concerns toward the education of men and boys and away from the education of women and girls. The gender wars over education, access, and outcomes are escalating, not diminishing. So Scripps College is an intellectual oasis for highly talented women as they contemplate their life's work, but it concurrently offers them the opportunity for a co-educational experience in the classroom and in other ways. Not incidentally, it also teaches students that effective systems aren't simple, that boundaries aren't always clear, that leadership must be collaborative, and that partnerships take constant work and nurturing to be successful. Lori Bettison Varga is the ideal woman to lead Scripps College and to lead with her Claremont partners. Faculty members, she values and understands your work and she is one of you at heart. Students, she will move mountains to provide for you the very best education and opportunities. Administration and staff, she will lead with a natural talent, enthusiasm and stamina that is very rare. Trustees, she has the intellect, integrity, creativity, and strength to translate your vision into practice. And partner presidents, she is a consummate collaborator, generous with her many intellectual and personal gifts. Now I take seriously my role to bring greetings from higher education, and I therefore bring official greetings from the National Higher Education Associations to which Scripps College and President Bettison Varga belong. She's already well known by each of them, well known positively, I might add, for her national leadership in higher education. So I hereby bring official greetings and congratulations from the Council of Independent Colleges, the National Association of Independent Colleges and Universities, the Women's College Coalition, the American Association of Colleges and Universities and Project Kaleidoscope, the Annapolis Group of Leading Liberal Arts Colleges, and our dearly beloved Council on Undergraduate Research. On behalf of these organizations, I salute you, 
eighth president of Scripps College, Lori Bettison Varga, and I pledge our ongoing support.